Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for all, si all signs even. Mercury retrograde, I can't even talk today. <laughs> it is for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave what needs to be left. Remember, my readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released. Um, so let's see what we have for Tuesday the 8th of June 2021. I'm using the numerology deck. Not used these for a while actually, but I was drawn to them today. So let's see why. Okay, what do we have please? Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message people need to hear? Okay. Hey, this is strange. We've got number 78, Spiritual Career. And then I've also got... Number 48, Financial Discipline. Those are nice energies. You know what I'm also... <laughs> what I'm also getting with this, guys? The colour pink. You know, I don't... I rarely say this, certainly in a general reading, but I've, I've got a feeling for some of you the colour pink means something. Anyway... I'm going to put that out there. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Let's see what else we get. What do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message that people need to hear the most? Tuesday the 8th of June 2021, please. Thank you. So we have, it's up to you, and we've got a no as well. So we'll see what that is about. Okay, so I'm going to pull uh, standard cards today. What do we have, please? Angel Spirits Guides, what's the message people need to hear the most? Tuesday the 8th, 8th of June, 2021. What do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? What do people need to hear the most? Thank you. Tuesday the 8th of June, 2021, please. Thank you. We have the Eight of Swords. So oh, it's never going to happen. That's what someone's saying. Spirit's saying it is. We have the Eight of Movement, which is, and Communication, which is the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles. Wow, guys, Nine of Pentacles, that is beautiful. Uh, and we have the Three of Wands. So let's pull a, a clarifier for this No. What does this No mean? It seems interesting energy as soon as I cut the cards I've got the king of swords which is a visionary energy also putting a plan into action for some of you sticking to a plan uh, keep your head as well sent with that eight of swords and it's to do with this the nine of pentacles material success money career finances um, what do we have can we clarify this no please angel spirits guides why is it there why is this no there please thank you i've got the queen of wands so this is somebody who's not taking action i mean it can also be a person as well but i'm feeling because bottom of the deck is the nine of swords which is it's generally a card of when we're so much in our own head, similar to this, uh, we, it, it stops us from moving forward. We get so obsessed with the negative, feeling a situation is futile beyond us, that there's an energy of don't, we don't bother taking action. And that's why it, this is somebody who's in their power, who trusts their intuition. This is somebody who's also very, very disciplined as well because it's emperor energy, you know? Uh, the Queen of Wands is generally Aries for me as a reader. So 
And that energy is all about structure, routine, the vision, the plan, you know. Um, and making sure that it's being, you know, sticking to that kind of thing, taking action where it's needed. So there's definitely an energy of somebody in their power controlling that energy that we saw before, which is the Nine of Swords, the Mars energy when it's let to run riot through our mental you know, uh, perspective, you know, this is what Mars can do if we let it run riot, when we focus on the negative, when we give power to the negative, this is what the Mars energy can do when we own our power, you know, it brings success, abundance, power. Um, there's definitely an energy here of somebody, there is some action, this is about sticking to the structure, the plan, uh, and definitely action, taking action, because it's up to you in terms of how you manifest this. And that's what the angels are saying. This is about being disciplined, because for, I'm definitely feeling that some of you spirits helping with your career, you know, the spiritual career energy. Yes, it can be, you know, it might well be for some of you. Some of you are taking a, you know, looking for employment in terms of spiritual careers. But there's definitely an energy also of you're being watched over here. And you're being told, stick to a plan, be structured, be strict um, with yourselves and just keep on taking action because it's up to you. The end result of this is in your hands. And yeah, kind of what this is saying here, the end result is in your hands. The Eight of Swords, it can be when things do seem futile beyond our control it's also an inhibiting energy of somebody potentially staying uh, in the comfort and not choosing to tread into unknown territory to go for something now now that could be in any situation that you might find yourself in in money and career some of you might be going for looking at new companies to you know go for some of you might be wanting new jobs some of you might be wanting to set up your own business venture some of you might be who own your own business you might well be looking at and um, bringing in an additional product line you know and giving something a go taking a chance on something and um, is that kind of energy and this is about thinking small it's inhibited, you know, where this is open, you know, it is a card of somebody who is considering all possibilities on how they shape the success of their world in their hands, yeah. So some choices there, decisions to make. But it's a card of, do I stay where I am? Because, you know, it's, you know, it's inhibiting energy, there's a fear factor here, or do I, do I go for something? When you take action, the King of Pentacles appears, um, and there could be positive communication, opportunity, conversations, communication coming your way, which is very much linked with abundance, material success. Now, the King of Pentacles can be an investor energy, um, very good in terms of somebody in business who's offering you the pentacle, offering you a job, offering you a business partnership, um, offering you a contract, call it what you will. So again, for some of you, there is definite progression when you take action. This is forward movement from this, which is a quite markedly different from this stuck energy. So there is a shift here. There's positive shifts, communication. And the King of Pentacles as an energy represents somebody who is at the top of their game in the element that they rule, the Pentacle, uh, money, career, success, and affording everything in their conscious reality that that brings, home, um, you know, providing, you know, bountiful energy. You can see sometimes the grapes and all of this, the signs of abundance, you know, just just draping over the King of Pentacles. So there's definitely this energy of, of there's somebody who may be of influence here in your success. And I feel for some of you, there's positive shift in communication. For those of you who think that not, nothing's going to happen, there's definitely an energy of something is happening here. 
but it won't do if you don't take action. There's something about being disciplined here, and I'm, it's so funny that I saw the colour pink, which I do, I do. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, what it delivers, this news, this information, this forward movement. Um, you're heading towards greater material success, goal achievement, not just for you, but for your family, uh, people you care about. I mean, this is a card of generations of family um, feeling abundant. You know, the coins are raining down on them. So, and there are blessings being given to you from people you've lost to the other side, ancestral lines, the generation of family watching over you. That is what that represents too. So it's a lovely energy here of, of the importance of family, um, the value of, it might well be for some of you that your family has given you support. That could be a relationship here. This can be a marriage, a marriage, a long-term committed relationship or family. The importance of family, you realise the importance of family. For some of you, I'm feeling that you have um, because there's a solidifying energy, but this is about sharing of wealth as well. And the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's standing in their own material success, material abundance, having earned every single one of those pentacles and they stand in their own abundance. Now, for some of you, again, businesses, you, you might be trying out a new product line or thinking, I'm going to introduce this or a new service. I mean, call it what you will. For some of you, this is definitely an energy of take it seriously. And obviously do the groundwork. The King of Pentacles is all into the detail, knowing all the facts of the situation before they embark on it. But there's definitely an energy of some success for some of you coming your way. Um, again, in terms of jobs, um, career, this feels very, very good as well in terms of standing in your own success abundance. Very nice energy indeed. And the Three of Wands is saying... If you take action towards this, we're going from a two to a three now. So there's progressive action. Your ships are coming in. The success is coming your way. You'll start seeing the first signs of success, the positive shift, the conversations, the important connection that you're making. And it's all leading to greater abundance. It's not quite in the harbour yet here with the three of wands, but there's definitely an energy of this is coming your way this is coming your way some of you you might have moved I don't know whether you've moved in with family as well some of you could have moved in with family whatever this means for you but there's definitely an energy of of the new thing that you've been manifesting the new thing that you've taken a chance on taken steps towards it's going to pay off this is the first signs of success growth potential um yeah the promise of success. So it's a very, very good energy and you make it happen. So powerful, powerful reading for someone. I'm gonna pull a final card, final message please, angels, spirits, guides, final message. Yeah, see? Antelope new pathways. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. And this is it. Do I stay in the comfort zone or do I go into new territory? In however that resonates for you. But it feels for some of you, knowing the detail, understanding all the facts of the situation, but going for something new, it definitely feels it's going to pay off. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you, feel, if you enjoyed it, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.